I personally, to be honest with you, would not destroy my relationship because my partner cheat. Because I would not Bold do that. Bold statement. No, that's a, yeah. Oof. Where they're coming from, the hard work that they put in to build a stable relationship to just give that up. Yeah, these things should not break relationships up. So you know what? Can I continue cheating in my sleep? Sure. As long as it's in your sleep. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> A lot of people walk away from their relationship because of infidelity, regret it sometimes. Yeah. And all and all three of my relationships that I've been in to this day taught me valuable lessons and valuable coping mechanisms that I always remember it's not always about you why your partner go out there and yep. cheat I need to lose weight, I need to get exercise sometimes it has nothing to do with you yep. we're back hey guys. guys hey what's up how are you guys yeah yeah how are you guys doing is that the welcome back you're gonna give? Really? 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 Yes, okay. really. Okay. You're doing all the talking tonight, just so you know. Oh, really? I That's punishment. Why. Punishment? Yes. For what? <laughs> Nothing. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Kenny and Shawa said that. Yes, guys. Um, you don't know. Just big up yourself and wait there. Um, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to our channel. Yep. And we should welcome ourselves back. We've been yes. away for way too long. Welcome. Welcome. I'm tired of saying welcome sorry back. for being away, okay? I'm welcome back, guys. It's not on her, though. You know, it's mainly on me, so. But welcome back. But how are you guys doing? Yes. I hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys miss us as, as much as uh, we miss you guys. Yeah, we do miss you guys for sure. Yeah. Okay, we do. And for those of you who, who who are always reaching out to us on our other platforms, thank you guys for all the love yeah. and support, the concerns. You know, just keeping us in your thoughts. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. And for Thanks. our friends over there in Nigeria, hold the fate, man. Hold the fate. Okay. Yeah. Better days will come. Justice will come. Exactly. Justice will prevail, okay? Yes. Well, it okay. will, will prevail. Yes. Amen to that. Yeah. Amen. Now, we're talking about so cheating and the whole work. So tonight, um, you know, we decided to talk about... Um, Kenny's topic. Can um, relationships survive infidelity? Yeah. That's the topic tonight. That's what we're going to talk about. And I would love to hear, you know, what you guys think about this. Have you ever been in a relationship where um, infidelity encounter and what do you do? Um, yeah, infidelity in the sense that it's not just cheating, but it's like you guys made a commitment to each other. Whether it's like a civil commitment or a legal commitment or whatever the case may be, you guys... You know, we're in a solid relationship, a long-term relationship where you make promises to each other, you know, to be exclusive to each other. And then somebody go and do the deeds with somebody else, you know? Right. That kind of thing. Not just like... Yeah, like yeah. cheating, you know, most of it. On another level. On another level. Yes. And um, what would you do if your relationship get affected by infidelity what, what do you, you think do? i would do i don't know I'm you don't know you. me enough i know you enough but still right, in situations we, we've, we've like had this little, like little talks before mm -hmm. and based on those little talks what do you think i would do um i think you would talk about it and ask me what was what is the reason why i went outside of us and um explain myself you would need a, a explanation for sure <laughs> i know that for sure i would need a goddamn explanation yeah, and it better be good and i don't think you would be you're the type of person that would just um just say you know what our marriage is and let's get a divorce blah 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 i i don't think you would do that no i wouldn't that's good to know no do you want to know what i think you would do 
No, it's not what I think. <laughs> no, okay, you're okay. going to tell me what you would do, sure, yes. Sure. But I want you to know what I think without okay. you telling me straight up right now. But based on past conversations. Sure. I think you would actually give up on the relationship. It would be okay. too much for you. And you would be like, you know what? I cannot do this. It doesn't make any sense. We continue. Mm -hmm. It's better we just move on and separate, you know, oh. whatever. Okay. I think that's what she would do. Okay. That's fair enough though. Okay, so what would you do? Um first to be honest guys and um to be fair if I were younger I maybe would you know decided that you know what I am going to end the relationship or um I'm not gonna try to work this out, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. It's done, it's over, whatever. But for me, I guess the the, the older I get, um, it I become more wiser, more understand certain things about me and what to change and how to approach certain situation because it's for me right now, it's not every relationship that um um you should i don't think you should end a relationship because someone cheated if well, i was I in think my that's what you would do yeah if i was in my 20s and stuff yes maybe that would happen but i think that if you're in a relationship that you invest in that you um put all your effort your time your everything into this relationship and then you know after years of marriage or you just years of being in a relationship you're just gonna walk away because that person decided to go out and um cheat on you um not necessarily i don't i think people if you have that you know, it is best to talk about it. It's the best to don't just walk away from it. I don't believe if you if you come to me right now and said, you know, Kenny, I cheat, I cheat on you. I don't think I. Yes, I'll get mad because I'm not perfect, of course, but I wouldn't be like, okay, I'm going to end the relationship because. I honestly think that's what. No, you would do, I though. wouldn't. I wouldn't do end the relationship because you cheated. Yes, don't get me wrong. It will take time. Yeah, it will. To, it has you to. You know, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. To all soak in and get it for it. A pro it's like a process. Yep. But I, I am not going to just say, you know what? Okay, let's get a divorce. Let's do that. I feel like sometimes in life, you get involved in a relationship. After a period of time, people change. People want to experience different things. It has mm -hmm. nothing to do with the other person. Yeah. But sometimes we feel as if it has something to yeah, do with us. Yeah, we have cravings that we have to satisfy. Exactly. Cravings outside of the norm. Yeah. No. No. You're taking this as as a like a joke, but no. But it's true though. Yeah. But yeah. But basically, what I'm saying is that we all develop. We all have um over a period of time you want to do something and especially sometimes when you're in yeah you want steak still salmon okay yeah that's not the point i was making though no you but... say you want something different oh it's not the same thing you want steak instead of yeah salmon. but it doesn't mean that mean that if the person cheat is because something wrong with you are it's because you know there's nothing um, um, attach me to you anymore sometimes that individual person need to do what they have to do and it have nothing to do with you don't get me wrong cheating is cheating yep. but not every cheating deserved to I'm done yeah you know what I mean no because 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 to be honest right, so what type of cheating would you consider like a deal breaker then 
cheating is cheating. It doesn't matter how you do it, to be honest with you. It doesn't matter whether you do it with somebody more sexier, more prettier. Cheating is cheating. It, it just doesn't, it just doesn't so matter how, what form. So is there a difference in any way of cheating or like reasons for cheating that would make you feel like, okay, this is worth working for or okay, this is not wor worth working for? I, as I said before, cheating is cheating. It doesn't matter how you do it. Yes, but some people will look at certain characteristics of the cheating and decide that, you know what, maybe I need to let this go. And then some people will look at it and say, you know what, maybe I should, you know, continue working with this person. Well, you know what, you can build a mountain or a foundation and destroy it because of that your partner just go and cheat one time because here's the thing and this is what i found um thing right infidelity can also be neglect like you i am neglecting be, yeah, you cause, people yeah people that. don't talk about that people don't talk about the, how the affection you know what i mean how the person treats you but a lot of people are not going to say to you, oh, you know what? Um, just walk away from your relationship because, oh, that person not, you're, you're not getting that much attention from your partner. So walk about it. But a moment somebody cheat, oh yeah, no, you need to divorce him. No, you are, you need to divorce her Or You don't need to work it out. Mm -hmm. When for me, I, I find that sometimes, um, people cheat because, because of their own um feeling what they're feeling what they need to ex to explore you know what i mean mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter if you're you're in a marriage you're in a relationship you change you you want to experience different things you want to explore but it doesn't mean that you don't um love your partner yes you do love your partner but sometimes you got to do you do you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying Sometimes you have to do you. You don't have to be... Yeah, because you're still an individual. Exactly. We're still individual. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, not every um, um, infidelity deserve a breakup, to be honest with you. Sometimes you just have to challenge that. But some deserve it, right? That's what you're saying. Um, to be honest, as I said to you before, you have a good partner... You guys build a foundation, um, and uh, like out of the blue, your partner just cheat on you. I would not. I would. I personally, to be honest with you, would not destroy my relationship because my partner cheat. Because I would not. Bold do that. statement. No, that's a yeah. <laughs> I, I would not because because you know what? There's more. I can easily say that. I can really, really say that and mean it. Yeah, there's more because that's to me. life than cheating. <clears throat> there's so much more you're sacrificing yourself. There's so there's so much more in a relationship. And there's so much and, worse that can happen too, right? Exactly in a relationship, not just not just cheating. There's so much more can yeah, happen. There's a lot more worse things that can happen. Exactly. And what do you do? There's so many challenging in when you know her own opinions personality versus mine we're two different people mm -hmm. how do we cope with each other what do we do you know what i mean because there, there are times when our emotions and um want to do you but you have to make that sacrifice because you have to make your partner you want to you want to support your partner so you put aside your needs for your it is it is just all more than just okay. My partner cheats, so yeah, you know I'm just gonna walk away Let me from ask that. You, what Go if ahead. the cheating happened over a period of time? It wasn't like a one-time thing. It was something that happened over a period of time, continuously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would okay. still try to work that out. Okay, no, that's a no, no, that's a that's cheating. Yeah, it's because no, cheating. it is, but that's like that's a relationship now. Well, not really. Technically, <clears throat> technically, it is. It's cheating, 
but if you're consistently seeing that person and keep on having um sexual encounter with that person technically it's a it's okay. an outside relationship it's an outside you're relationship. having that's true yes you do so at that point do you try to work it out so at that point no because i i i Okay. You just said you're no, not gonna end your no. relationship. Here's the thing. Here's the difference, and I, I want to explain myself properly. Here's the difference, right? Um, you're in a relationship. You're married. Whatever you live together, and your partner is seeing someone else multiple time, having multiple um, um, sexual encounter with this one person, right? If you love someone, if you love someone, you shouldn't be having, you shouldn't be seeking someone else. That's my, that, that is my philosophy. I strongly believe that if you love someone, why are you looking somewhere else? Yep. But again, right? It shouldn't be happening because if you love someone, you're going, you're, you love them so much that you don't want to hurt them. And if you love someone, your, your old being would try to protect you from hurting that person. Do you understand? But here's a difference now between that. The difference between, um, your partner cheat, you talk about it, like cheat one time or even say two times <laughs> and you guys build a relationship. You guys, um, have a solid relationship. You guys build so much into this relationship. Now, to be honest with you, you don't need to let go right away. You can talk about it and work it out. Because every single one of us have different tastes. We like different things. At some given point, it doesn't have to mean because I don't love Shala. So I'm going to, that's why I cheat on her. Sometimes it have to do with you, your inner you, what you want to do at that given time. Now, if your partner, again, on the other side, go over and start an outside relationship, having multiple um, 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 sex encounter with another person, no, that's a different story. Do you understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I want to just explain that to you. I personally believe that infidelity in a relationship um can survive it can if two people are willing to look yeah. at at look at their life where they're coming from the hard work that they put in to build a stable relationship to just give that up no 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 no. Yeah, you have it's, to look beyond it's, that it's, one, it's, it's, you know, lapse in judgment. Exactly. That one moment in time when you things can, weren't, you exactly. know, up to par. Exactly. And just look at, you know, all the other things that are there that makes your relationship what it is. Yeah. You know, the, those original reasons you got together in the first exactly. place. You have to think about those things instead of thinking about that one thing that happened or whether it happened one or two times. You know, it's still just that one moment in time. Now, if it, as Kenny say, if, if it's a relationship on the side, then at that point, it's a whole different ball game. Right. Yeah. But yeah, these things should not break relationships up. So you know what? Can I continue cheating in my sleep? Sure. As long as it's in your sleep. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> You're She's funny. not gonna leave me for that, uh, okay? No, you're <laughs> funny, but that's okay. But um, <laughs> as I'm saying, is that we all are. This is the thing that a lot of us don't understand in relationship, that we're different, and there there will be sacrifice. Mm -hmm. There will be a lot of work put in to a relationship if two people are willing to work it out. Mm -hmm. But at the same time. At some point, sometimes that person may want to do something else, not saying, you know, they want to leave you or whatever. And not saying that they want to do something else mean to go and cheat. There's a lot more under that status that say you're married or that say that you're in a common law relationship, mm -hmm. whatever. There's more to that. Right, because yep. you have to take care of you, right? Sometimes you have to 
understand the core the core of your relationship you have to go there and sometimes you have to understand your partner and you have to understand who you are as an individual person so that everything can work together you know what i mean like it's not all about just walking away it's not all about just giving up because i can tell you this a lot of people walk away from their relationship because of infidelity regret it sometimes yeah, because yeah. it was one moment because in time. Because it was just that one moment. And yeah. they're searching for that person. Who is perfect. But they find something but that doesn't match up to what they lost. Exactly. Just because of that one moment in time. Because the thing is, there are so many other great qualities in a person that yeah, you probably that. won't ever find in another person. And sure. that's all, those are some of the reasons why you marry the person you get married to. Right. So why are you going to give that up? For yeah. one moment in time that something went wrong. Right. It's not worth it. It's not. I think. And as long as that person is not abusing you, um, they're not um Exactly. Physically, mentally mm -hmm. abusing you, and that person you know, treats you good, work together, respect you to the ground that you walk on. Don't just be like you know. Um, no, I can't deal with this. And I strongly say relationship can survive infidelity. Absolutely. It can. Mm -hmm. I no. What do you look at to pull you back up and said, you know what? This is worth to hold on to and to fight for. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And those are the stuff then that these are the things and that um i do think of what am i most appreciated in 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 my relationship what am i most um, um so what are you most moment? appreciative of i i want you can ask me this often and i'll tell you that <laughs> what i'm telling you so it's, am i putting you on the spot yes and you like to, <laughs> and you like and, and you like to do that but but okay but you have to you have to look into these things you know what i mean and uh, i think all my relationships taught me how to deal with relationships and your mistakes yeah, yeah. And all, all my relationships right. which aren't many my three relationships mm -hmm. they all taught me right this is my third full relationship and all and all three of my relationships that i've been in to this day has taught me valuable lessons and valuable coping mechanisms that I can, you know, implement for ongoing relationships, whether it's in my personal relationship or relationship with just, mm. you know, friendships and so on, right. family, whatever. And yeah. I strongly believe in my relationship, never say never, whatever. But again, I'm happy that I have grown enough to understand the purpose of a relationship that have values quality that you're willing to put all your effort all your strength because you believe in it and you want to make that foundation become so stable and solid mm -hmm. Even if somebody try, even if you go down a little bit, the weight enough on that relationship, pull it back up, right? And bring it back together. And that's yes, all, baby. Um, <laughs> yes. And yeah, that's, it, baby. That's, that's, what I, that's what I believe in. And mm. the, the fact remaining that you, you... You guys know when she's passionate you, about something. You, um, love is beautiful and... Yes. One time I remember, um, I remember this lady told me this one time that, you know, that compromising is good, but compromising yeah. sometimes can be very bad. So you have to know how, as I said, yeah, you, can't, you know what I like, mean? When to push, when to stop, when to give in and when to come together 
and not because another person has done something wrong meaning that should be the end of all your sweat your work your effort your everything i used to i used to i used to ask myself i used to say sometimes when i heard stories stories like oh my gosh he cheated on her and jesus really she really take him back like why would she take him back why but then yeah, i there's a reason not, for it I weren't in that relationship. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a part of that relationship to understand what the, was going the, on the, the, and what the values real, real they share of that relationship. And sometimes it's good to take a time out for yourself because some I believe when you take a time out for yourself and your partner take a time out for for themselves, you learn more about yourself. We're different people and we will at some point want different things, but it doesn't mean that person don't love you. And always remember, it's not always about you, why your partner go out there and yep. cheat. It's because of him, his, him, like me, it's because of me not because of you not anything wrong with you so you feel like oh my gosh me need to lose weight me need to get exercise sometimes it has nothing to do with you yeah completely nothing that person just need to go out and do what he wants to do or what she wants to do yeah nothing to do with you and that's what i learned I over the past that. years yes. i second that so cheers to that so guys Tell us how uh, tell tell us your story. Like if you have a story, do you ever been in a relationship where you enc um, encounter in um, infidelity? What do you do, and what was the reason? And um, tell us. I would yeah. I would love to know. I would love to know your feedback. My first on this. full relationship was totally well, totally ended that way due to those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Tell us how you feel. Mm -hmm. I would love to know. Yes, guys. Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, like, comment, do the whole work, okay? All right. And thank you guys for tuning in again. We are not going to make any promises, but we're hoping that going forward, we'll be posting more, okay? So just look out for that. Yeah, and thanks, thanks again for love and support. Um, Kenny and Shala, you don't know. We're still here. Mm -hmm. We're still doing our thing, you know, we're still, you busy know. Busy as ever, you know. Just busy working and. Um, working and working. But again, you know, we miss you guys and we decided yeah, we to do. do this video. Um, because you know, it was something that Kenny, you know, yeah, wanted to talk yeah. about for a while. Yeah, I wanted to talk about yeah. this for a while. So I was like, you know what, let's do this video um, tonight. And um, there it was. So okay. give us, tell me your feedback. Bring the feedback in. I'd like to know how you guys feel. So, you know, when you watch this video, just tell me how you feel. And um, we can maybe have a part two on this again. You know, yeah. uh, we maybe could go live so we can talk to people and see. Because I'd love to know. We need to, to go know, live soon. It's been love a long to know time. The, love to hear about the, the um, Did you hear what I said? The feedback. Yes, I did. What did I say? Um. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what? When she's talking... Everything that I'm saying is just going over her head. She don't... When she's talking, she's so into what she's saying that anything that I'm sitting here saying is just flying over her head. I know. Under the pressure. Under the pressure. <laughs> you you want to see her when she has to sing the like car. She bought the start. She oh bought my the, gosh, she bought the volume oh, wow. all the way up. Yeah. Blasting. Yeah. You don't know where to make and you don't know if you mm -hmm. like a something you just play it over and, and then over, every woman drive over. people are look at me like I'm crazy <laughs> in the car because all right guys take care peace out yeah it's bedtime yeah